Hello Aries, you beautiful fire baby. Welcome to your general reading for August 2020. However, this doesn't need to be date specific. If you're watching this three months from now, a year from now, trust the divine timing of this message. You were brought here for a reason, okay? And um, yeah, just keep in mind that this is general. If it doesn't resonate with you, don't force the shoe to fit when it doesn't fit. And um, let's just get started. I'm going to start shuffling. And if you like um, or resonate with anything in this video, feel free to like this video, consider subscribing. I just dropped a card. <laughs> Consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button to be notified of future videos like this from me. And it also really helps other people like you find this content. And feel free to comment down below. I love reading your comments and sharing. Okay, so the energy that your spirit guides and angels want you to be aware of this month for this month ahead is discernment and solar plexus chakra and these cards come from my sacred geometry oracle card deck so just by looking at these images it's going to help activate this energy within your being and so with numerology we have two and three which is very very interesting and so there's going to be a huge focus on balancing things in your life creating harmony wholeness and integration and being able to accept more duality and be more loving and be more inclusive and then with three yeah this is a huge catalyst number lots of changes um, two things coming together to create a new thing so new ideas breakthroughs um, hitting milestones things like that and so i'm going to focus first on solar plexus so uh, for those of you who don't know, solar plexus is the third chakra in the system, and there's more than seven, but they're, of course, in main <laughs> mainstream media, there are seven known uh, chakras, but there are more. But anyway, this is the third one, and it's right where your uh, stomach is, right in the center of your being. and. This can really help with feeling more empowered, more confident, knowing who you are, believing in yourself, and just feeling very energetic. And I'm going to read, the frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power, and our willpower as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. And so uh, with the flower of life, it is basically talking about how everything is connected and it's just a beautiful mandala chakra. So you might want to do meditations that are focused on opening up the solar plexus, eating foods, uh, wearing the color yellow, working with crystals, um, doing yoga, <laughs> doing certain types of exercises to open up the solar plexus chakra. You might want to I wish I could remember her name. I will link her down below, but um, yeah, I wish I could remember her name, but she did, she taught uh, certain energy exercises that you can do. So yeah, of course, research how to open up the solar plexus and things like that. And that's kind of like your homework for August is healing and opening up your solar plexus. And then we have 
discernment. And so there's, a, again, there is yellow at the center. And I'm feeling that opening up your solar plexus is actually going to help you be more in tune with your intuition and your inner gut feeling and things like that. And it's also going to be important for you to speak your truth, express yourself, and also open up your heart and go with the call of your heart. And I will read. The frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment, yet with compassion and wisdom. So maybe there are a little bit, uh, there are some people in your life that uh, are a little bit tricky or chaotic or dramatic or things like that that you're needing to kind of uh, be distant from but view them and interact with them from a place of compassion and wisdom and not judge them but not be too involved with them <laughs> okay i feel called to open up the the guidebook and read a little bit for that card so one moment Discernment can be described as the ability to perceive or judge well. Now that we are moving into a multidimensional reality, we are invited to see polarity and duality with new eyes. So seeing things and people with new eyes from a different perspective. Living in multidimensionality is about experiencing polarity with discernment being in balance with it and moving in harmony with it discernment has to do with our inner guide the higher part of us that is closely connected to source and can look at things from a perspective of wisdom maturity experience integrity compassion and purpose so yeah that's spot on with what i was saying by opening up your solar plexus it's going to put you more in tune with your intuition your gut feeling your inner being all of that <laughs> it is about being in witness mode being aware without attachment to outcome or direction in this activation the color blue is representative of our ability to communicate clearly it is considered to be the color of truth the color green is associated with heart and with healing. Try this. Take a moment to go inside to see how you feel. Are you centered? How do you view the world and others around you? Are you kind with your words and your actions? Do you trust your own perceptions? Or are you easily swayed by others' input? Hmm. Are you observing and listening to others without giving your opinion? All right, that's absolutely beautiful. So it's going to be really important for you to kind of be a, a monk or a Buddhist this month and go into meditation and maybe look at people um, with objectivity, maybe pretend that you're a therapist or a psychologist and you're just studying human behavior, not reacting to it, not judging it, things like that, and coming into your own power. So let's see what the animal totems have to say now, what messages they want to bring forward to you, Aries, for the month of August. Okay, very interesting. You got fire ant, dolphin, and peacock. So, uh, I am actually seeing you as dolphin and fire ant. And it seems like you've been kind of split in half because of this peacock kind of energy. 
And uh, usually the peacock can be a very beautiful card, but in this case, it's kind of like just having all sorts of tabs on Google open, just like totally disorganized, totally discombobulated, all over the place, chaotic, sporadic, um, just probably like a drama queen or king, this kind of energy. And it's been a bit irritating for you because you're just wanting to be a dolphin. You're just wanting to go with your joy and be playful and be carefree and light and be very childlike and be very happy and bring light to a situation. But it seems like this person or energy um has been a little bit festy a little bit festering in you and agitating you and irritating you and i think that maybe you've been trying to do your best but it seems like more and more energy is starting to go to this peacock instead of your your desire to just play and have fun so this is very interesting with with what we were talking about with discernment and so i think the universe is really starting to come in now and say hey aries um you really you really need to make a decision here well you know because this person we don't know you only you know aries because for some of you, this might be like rather a permanent person, like a coworker, boss, family member, things like that, where you can't, you can only distance yourself so much. But they clearly have been taking away from your, from your joy, from your playfulness, creativity, and feeling happy. And more and more energy has been going to this person and I feel like um, it's yeah it's just not it's not good for you so let's see what the fairies have to say about about this I feel like this person is okay I'm getting another message here Aries so even though a lot of energy has been going to this peacock there is a huge collective swarming around you Aries or if it's not you are deeply loved and cared about and there's a lot of swarming around you or you are creating a maelstrom of energy because what I'm starting to see with this dolphin is that what dolphins do in the wild, I'm pretty sure I saw this in a documentary, where they actually kind of paralyze their prey with their sonar capabilities. And so I feel like yours and and also dolphins will will swarm if they're hunting a larger mammal or or trying to because sharks are actually really afraid of dolphins. So if they see a shark, they'll try to swarm around the shark and confuse it and scare it away. So I feel like that's what you're doing in a sense with, with your mind or with your actions or um, doing verbal kung fu in a way. Because this is this person has been impeding on like the progress of your life with the fire ant it has been blocking you and derailing you from some kind of movement and progress in your life and so it seems like you're trying to get this peacock off your off your trail and kind of confuse them or kind of stun them in a, in a way um, and creating a lot of energy um, 
to because because this peacock person they have like a three second attention span and for whatever reason they've been in, honed in on you and so it's almost like you're trying to create a distraction so that they can go off and focus on something else or someone else um because i really even though this person has been uh an inconvenience to you for a while it can only last so long with this kind of character so all right let's see let's see what the fairies have to say about about this dynamic this is very interesting and the other thing that I'm noticing is that the fire ant card and the dolphin card both have yellow so I feel like this is about coming into your power Aries and I feel like for some of you doing verbal kung fu kind of being kind of being vague and being a little bit playful a little bit I think having a sense of humor with this one and kind of being very vague if they try to for some of you this person might be kind of bully or very catty or very uh, superficial competitive this type of thing if you can just stay in your joy and just be high flying and be very vague and maybe joke around about things um, because for some of you this person might very well try to get some kind of dirt on you or some kind of detail on you and turn it around on you or make you feel bad or, or something and so the more vague you can do and be like ah oh, like if they try to ask you about your weekend you would be like oh eh, no nothing much um what about you and like just turn it all around them and and just be very vague very flippant <laughs> with flipper yeah i think i think you're needing to be just kind of very flippant with this with this person and just have a sense of humor and be very vague and have verbal kung fu and you know just be the total joy uh, maelstrom that you are Aries um, and I think that they will become less and less of an uh, irritant for you and they will become less interested in you they might be very well a narcissist um, so some of you might want to watch Dr. Romani if you feel like you are dealing with a narcissist um, and might want to go gray rock with them anyway with the fairies it's going to be really um critical there is some kind of decision that needs to be made um you know there has been kind of wishy-washy kind of energy and um and what i'm feeling there is that you've been really high and then they come in and just your whole energy goes down they suck your energy they might be an energy vampire of some sort and so your energy has been very wishy-washy and i feel like what you're learning is how to hone your own energy and come more into your power and not have anything because this type of person um it, they usually come in when there's some kind of crack in our castle in our in who we are um to to strengthen us and hone us so they're gonna try to if there is a crack and a little opening of a crevice or anything like that they're gonna try to get in and so they're helping you be very strong and be very secure and stable in who you are and I hope that makes sense so they're basically helping you strengthen your foundation and strengthen essentially who you are who you are as a person I mean this is all about becoming uh, having discernment with this one being more detached 
yet having compassion and wisdom, um, seeing them, seeing, trying to see them from a place of love, but be very detached and be very sure-footed with them and with yourself, being very sure-footed instead of being very wishy-washy and letting this person get you off your balance. So, okay. I hope that makes sense. Um, so there's a need to get your balance back, to become more sure-footed, perhaps to make some kind of decision. We have Tate in the Sylph here. So... <laughs> Aries, I think you're needing to be a little bit cunning with this one. You can you can use your wit with this one here. You can you can fool them. You can kind of put on a bit of a facade with them, um, if that makes sense. I hope nothing malicious or nothing uh, malevolent or anything like that, but to kind of just be very vague be very flippant with them and be and be fast moving F move move really fast intellectually with this one because it's going to confuse them so you might want to have a whole bunch of topics uh if this is a person that you interact on a daily basis and have to then i would prepare a whole bunch of topics a whole bunch of questions to ask this one and not engage emotionally or give them much information about you and keep it all about them so you want to prepare questions to ask them how was your weekend what where did you go to eat you know um did you do any shopping you know it could be anything really and so you just want to always keep them uh keep it all about them and have it um yeah you just want to kind of confuse them and kind of get them off your trail so let, what else, Fairy? Yeah, this person has been a total time waster, energy drainer, uh, with the soul shrinker. We have Mike the Myromancer, and zero point card, and initiation. Okay. So yeah, this is just confirming and validating for you, Aries, that this person has been a total time suck, total energy drainer, um, could be very critical, judgmental, negative, uh, cynical, just bad vibes and just all over the place and probably drama prone and things like that. You know, they might be a very dark cloud in your life currently. Um, and, and there might be a lot of kind of gaslighting I'm feeling because maybe on the outside, they look amazing. They might on the outside look really amazing, but then once you get to know them, it's just like awful. <laughs> it's like a really bad gift wrapped in the most beautiful wrapping paper and bows and, uh, everything like that. So yeah, this is just validating that, like you are seen, you are witnessed, like everything that you're feeling is completely valid. Anybody else would be like so irritated with this person too, they would feel brought down too. But, but you're needing to have, this person is teaching, this person might very well be teaching you patience <laughs> with um, Mike the Meyermancer. They might very well be teaching you patience and stealthiness um, intellectually, emotionally, teaching you how to uh, see this person, pinpoint this person out in a crowd. Once you master this, uh, this person, once you master how to interact with this person, you'll master them all. So, I highly recommend if you feel like you're dealing with a narcissist, watch Dr. Romani. She has her own channel. She's also featured on Med Circle as well. Anyway, 
So this person might very well be teaching you patience, teaching you wisdom, um, being very detached, very withheld emotionally, intellectually, everything. And my the Meyermancer here is telling you or asking you to kind of lean back and just kind of observe this person and just be like, hmm, that's interesting that they reacted that way to that or that they constantly need this sort of attention on them or that they're always trying to put me down. Hmm, I wonder why that is. And just kind of study them as if you're a psychologist or a therapist. And kind of take this uh, wisdom here from Mike the Meyermancer and study the details of this person because you are in a master class here, Aries. You are. Uh, like I said, once you master this type of person, you've mastered them all and you'll know the signs to look for you'll know within five minutes of meeting someone and be like, oh, you're like that template. I know exactly how to deal with you. <laughs> and still keep my joy and happiness and peace of mind and progress and um, health and well-being. Uh, we have the singer of initiation here. So this person has been initiating you on some kind of path. And... Uh, they are representing some kind of completion, ending, or beginning in your life. And you are in a master class here. I feel that very strongly. And you might, you might want to go into therapy or you might want to, this person might be highlighting some kind of gift or talent that you have and maybe didn't know you had and is highlighting some kind of career path or way that you can help people, people that have been highly damaged by this kind of person or um, just, you know, going into sales or um, public relations or, um, you know, it could be highlighting so many things for you, um, problems in the world that you want to help with, address things like that, um, places in society, um, certain causes, you know, all sorts of things like that. Um, but overall, it's helping you. They are helping you. <laughs> this person is going to be one of your greatest teachers. Um, they are helping you be a better version of yourself, stronger, wiser, um, happier, more sure-footed, um, more confident, more empowered, all of these types of things. And there is going to be some kind of upgrade with the zero point card. There is some kind of clean new slate, new opportunity, something wiped completely clean. And I think if anything at all, it's just going to be how you feel on the inside. You, you're going to be able to wipe the slate clean regarding this person. Every day is going to be a new day, but you're going to know what you're dealing with. And um, it's going to be a totally different reality. It's going to be a totally different way, and it's going to be easier. It's going to be much easier. And so you might also be developing thicker skin, being able to have this type of energy just roll off of you like water on a duck's back, things like that. Um, and there might be some kind of promotion or upgrade in your life, a new job where this person doesn't exist. This person is just not gonna be in your life for that long, they're, they're temporary. Uh, you know, people are either there for a reason, season, or a lifetime. This person is here for a season. So, um, and potentially a reason as well. But anyway, it's just going to be pure white snow, clean slate here in some way. And you're going to continue to feel lighter and lighter and happier and more like 
yourself, Aries. That's just absolutely beautiful. So now I am going to get some spiritual advice and then we'll end on love advice. Ah, this is beautiful. Take a break, a life's work, not a season. Get off, get off the treadmill and play oh aries that is just so beautiful yeah it's time i think to just take a break to just distance yourself from all of this i think i i think now at the end of the reading you know you've you've learned your lessons from this person okay they they have no need to be in your life anymore so just take a break refresh you know clean clean the slate um rejuvenate yourself pamper yourself rest all of that type of stuff and play uh, nurture your soul do what feeds your soul do something creative express yourself listen to music dance sing do some kind of art project be with friends celebrate don't be so serious you know all of that kind of energy this is just absolutely beautiful okay now we're going to get some love advice oh my gosh aries you got a wedding it actually came in this order wedding the situation involves marriage obviously you are not being married to this person and if you are if that is the case like this was your like spouse just absolutely giving you misery and hell um i would say that like a new love is coming in and that if like if you're going through a divorce you know that's the clean slate the divorce and everything will be settled and it will be over you know whether it's a job or a spouse or anything this person there is going to be a clean slate it is going to be wiped clean you know everything it's all going to even out and be organized and it will end and you are going to find new love that's going to be a lot more healthier for you loving for you nurturing for you oh my gosh that is just absolutely beautiful and very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now oh my gosh aries this is so exciting yeah so I think from this experience, you definitely know what love is not. And so you've learned what it is that you really truly want and it exists. It's possible. And yeah, it's just going to come to a very nice clean ending and something new and wonderful and nurturing and soul enriching is going to come in very soon for you okay aries i hope that this was of value to you again please like subscribe comment share thank you so much for doing those things um i am sending you all of my love know that you are never ever alone be kind to yourself be kind to others and take care bye